Hello. I'd like you to uh, watch this short film. It's uh, about a young lad called Dylan. Now, Dylan uh, visits and stays at Helen and Douglas House. It's a hospice for children and young adults. It's a very, very special place. I've been involved with it now for a few years uh, with, with fundraising and, and so forth, and I visited several times. And it, it's not what you'd expect. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful place, it really is, and, and it does a fantastic job for the children and the young adults that go there, and also for their families. I'm a father myself, and when you talk about a hospice for, you know, for, for, for children and young adults, it's, it's, it's the unthinkable. And when I first visited there, I thought, oh, what's it going to be like? But it's a, it really is a, it's a lovely place with a sense of sort of sanctuary to it. Now, it needs money, of course, to run. Uh, so I'd like you to watch this film see what the wonderful people there do, see what a difference it makes to people like Dylan, and uh, then see if perhaps you could, you could help uh, with support. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little. My name's Dylan and I'm 15 years old. Dylan was uh, premature and um, so all of everything was delayed, um, his walking and that, and it was put down to him being premature. Um, but when he was six, he was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Which is a, a muscle illness which makes my muscles weaker when I get older. So I'm, it's a life-threatening illness. We came for a day so Dylan could have a look around. And he basically said, I don't want you to stay. Go now. I want to do it Helen House. And when I came back to pick him up, um, he was on the computer and he totally ignored me because he didn't want to go home. So, um, you know, it's been really, really great for him. Where I live, they kick balls out of the wall and knock on windows, which I get very stressed with it. And and sometimes shout because I get annoyed with them. We've been really lucky in Out of the Blue. We're a bunch of students and yet we go and we get to do these tours and these really great gigs, but the most important moment for me, I think the best moment was here. And to have been part of that is really humbling, really humbling. When he was talking about the difficulties he has at home to come here and get that release, like, it's, it's beyond anything we can, we can really appreciate because we are so lucky that we don't need that. But the fact that he can have that is amazing. It really is amazing. He is so aware of the fact that this is a separate, different world from the one that he normally lives in, I guess. It's definitely my oasis. Um, I just feel when you come through, through the door, um, I leave my baggage, my problems outside. Um, and even while we're staying here, if I go out for a walk, I still f have that feeling of, um, of calm and, and it's like being part of a family because I don't have family here, so Helen House is like our family. We, we see every emotion here. Um, there's anger, there's joy, there's sorrow, there's everything you can imagine. But a, a stranger walking into Helen House would m be much more likely to meet with lots of laughter. And they always say the smell of home cooking and, uh, <laughs> you know, things that people don't expect when they hear the word hospice. You just leave a place which, despite everything, despite the people who are here, it's a really happy place. Like, whenever <laughs> I come, I always leave like, oh, that's great, I really enjoyed it. And I think that says so much about how I operate and about the ethos of all the staff and the people who stay here. It's just really uplifting. My favourite thing about Emma Douglas House is coming to see my friends and having some fun with them and playing in the games room, which we 
when we do quite a bit. If heaven and Douglas House didn't exist, um, it would be very hard to have a rest and my mum and dad would get very tired and, and it's, if that happened we would be always arguing and things. We've been deeply affected by our visits to Helen and Douglas House. It costs £5 million to run both houses for just one year, but your contribution can make a huge difference to lives like Dylan's, so thank you. Thank you.